installment of our top five social media stories of the week, uh, the week of June 6th to the 10th. My name is Lou. And I'm Tom Barry. And uh, we're here with Grow Socially to talk about a couple different things. First thing on the menu, uh, number five this week, Dartmouth and Stanford actually are live streaming on YouTube their commencement ceremony. So, you go to Dartmouth, don't you? Um, a Dartmouth, yes. Good, good. Yes. Um, um, no, not the cool. Dartmouth. Yeah, well, but, this is well, this um, pretty cool, though. I think they've already... Um, yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's innovative. Yeah. It's cool. It's, you know, it's different. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's um, interesting that I know a lot of schools will broadcast their commencement on, uh, like, a local station or anything like that, or, yeah. or kind of like a closed TV line. But to do it on YouTube, um, I think that's... It's an interesting... 90-year-old Nana back in the hospital bed can now watch watch Commencement. If she knows if how she to, wants to use YouTube, she certainly... The nurse will set it up for her. Number four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a recent um, video that went viral uh, not too long ago, or this week, um, with a woman getting tattoos of all 152 of her Facebook friends' profile pictures on her arm. Uh, from here to here, she has a full sleeve. Um, you know, there are a lot of people surprised by this, I guess. Um, I'm not surprised by anything with Facebook yeah. anymore. Um, but it was um, revealed a day later that it was a hoax. That's a hoax, right? It's a hoax, yeah, put on uh -huh. by a... Um, totally threw me off now. Uh -huh. I like saying the word hoax. Yeah. Um, by a marketing company. It was a hoax put up just... Not even sure what they were trying to get at, quite honestly. Hey, it's unique. It's unique. It's it works. It's, uh, yeah. You know, hoaxes work. It's getting attention. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, an interesting strategy. People have started going more to this marketing company. It's a mm. social media um, marketing company, and, they, and they've garnered a lot of attention to themselves. So yeah, we should get Facebook Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. No, you can. No. You can do it first. Number three, Facebook is rolling out a new... Um, feature, or they're at least testing it right now, um, called Happening Now, which would go on the side of your news feed and really kind of look like Twitter, Tom. Yeah, that was really, it's it's kind of cool, I mean, mostly because I'm a huge Twitter geek, I'm one of those people that just, I love it, nerd. I am a nerd, but huge. it's cool because it's all, the, all of your news information, everything that's running through in that news feed kind of condensed and smaller on the side, so... It has similar features to like where uh, Google, you can kind of float over it and see the page before you go there. You don't even have to leave your home feed if you don't want to, and you can view it. I'm worried it might be a little too cool. much clutter on the home page. Uh, you are, they will have the top news still, as well as um, everything, your most recent news, and then this on the side. It's gonna be a lot, but it'll be a way to, I guess, keep up with people you wouldn't normally mm -hmm. interact with on Facebook. So. I think they're just trying, they're trying to compete with Twitter. It's like a like a battle, social media battle. Right, yeah, I think microblogging mm -hmm. is, is what this is all about because the less words, the better. That's what's gonna yeah. keep the attention. Uh, number two, this is really cool. Steve Jobs from Apple decided the other day, or presented the other day, uh, he's looking to build a new home building. Uh, what's the word like for the, it? Yeah, uh, headquarters. Headquarters America. for Apple. That looks like a giant spaceship. Right in, in uh, Cupertino, California. Yeah. He actually just went to their city council meeting and he, and he brought the idea to the towns, townspeople. Um, and there are some pictures released of this of this thing. Um, it's like around a mountain, like this huge green office. Um, I think it would hands down be the coolest office building on the face of the oh, earth. Definitely. And I think that is Steve Jobs. Plan. Um, so it's always it's supposed to be happening. energy efficient as well, which is uh, cool because a lot of it's made out of glass, lets in a lot of natural light. I was reading that; that was pretty, uh, yeah. pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll see if that comes true. I think if that does happen, it wouldn't be till like 2015. Yeah. So you'd be old man, but well, you'd be old by then. <laughs> oh geez. All right. Number one. Do you want to say it? Or can I say um, it? I don't know. Wiener right. drama, Tom. Wiener drama. I don't even know what to begin. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm terrified to say anything right now. We're gonna get blocked from. Well, like from like YouTube. um like Charlie Sheen found out, there's just certain things you just can't say and do on uh, social networking because it gets out there way too quickly. A lot yeah. of people are learning that lesson the hard way. Gilbert Godfrey got booted oh, yeah. off off Aflac. Mm -hmm. Um, 
yeah, I think the story is pretty well told at this point. Um, Representative Anthony Weiner from New York um, tweeted some lewd, lewd pictures. Yes. That's right, some lewd pictures. Yeah. Um, Representative Weiner is in a lot of trouble right now. He took full responsibility for he, he, his he, actions. He did ad admit, like a man that was that was you know that was very respectful of him. I mean, I think he. Uh, Probably regretted his decision immediately, but uh, I think so. With a name, goes to show you. Yeah, I think with a name as unfortunate as his, you really can't be making mm -hmm. mistakes like that. No, no definitely not. And oh, so. such a large network, it spreads fast, or it spreads real quickly. It does. It does a lot. I didn't want to know about Mr. Weaver. Mm. Anything else this week, Tom? Well, there was one thing that was pretty cool. We talked about it earlier this week. There was a huge birthday party that was. sprung from a Facebook group. Facebook event, millions of people. We have a link, link to it. We're gonna check out the annotation on this video because we're gonna link link you to that. We talked about it the other day. So. Absolutely. Any other stories this week? Um, not really. I mean, still just Pandora's another week in public. the office. Yeah, Pandora's that's true. Public. Yep. Good week in the office. Destroyed Tom and ping pong a few few yeah. times this week. So that happens. Yeah, that's worth. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us again. Thanks Another week, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Tune in. we got more more and more information. If you're looking for anything in particular or you find something interesting, send us some information. Uh, look for us on Twitter, Tom R. Barry and Lusa Maglia. Uh, we'd love to connect with you guys. Thank, Thank you very much. much.